I'm day trade setup for today. <clears throat> so yesterday we had a pretty strong rally and uh, that rally happened off a level. I'm just going to get that level in. You can see the swing low here, right there. You can see a bit of congestion here. We tagged it. And uh, if I move further back, you can see a little bit of interaction with this level. Um, you can see there, I think there's much further back beyond that, except for a bit of support and some resistance quite far back. So this area of 24674, and I just moved it. Uh, 2764 is pretty much, well, there's a zone here. Let's do that. Right. Right. The 27584 is pretty much the area so it's, but let's just round it off to 27600 i think that's um that's a level that you need to keep on your charts uh, yeah okay now let's just keep it slap bang on the middle 24660 24650 so that's the level you need to see defended so any price action around here you can expect buyers off if we get through it and I would want to take out some of these lows, these previous lows here on the fractals. Uh, that would give me a confirmation for a move to the downside. So at the moment, that's kind of my line in the sand of what I'm looking for. So until that level breaks properly, trend is up. We do have a double bottom. So I'm going to set up to the S&P at the moment right there. Obviously, I'd like to see a retest of that before jumping in long, but long it is. And that target is pretty much this inside bar here which is 27364 okay so just delete that I want that in permanently and I want that in permanently right let's get down to some levels we can trade um, at the moment these one hour is a very strong uptrend uh, this looks like an exhaustion bar if you look to the left there is a level here there's the level there so this is uh, 26391. Uh, we're just short of it at the moment, but if I just fine tune it onto this swing low here, which is also a level. So basically what I have is I've got two levels here. That makes sense here. There, so I've got a level here at 27391, and I have another level at 26332. So at the moment that is looking like it is resistance. So there's two ways to play this at the moment, and I'm going to come down to the 15 now because this is what we're going to have to be doing. Um, I'm going to look for a pullback onto structure. This is a very strong upward trend. Okay, so it's going to have to break below some of these lower fractals for the trend to reverse. So at the moment, we have a very strong upward trend. Looking for pullback onto structure. You can see where the structure is at the moment. Let's just use a block here. So there's the first level of, uh, of structure. It's around 26060 that would see a fairly decent um, pullback allowing you to get long um, the other area that you'd be looking at is a break above this resistance that we're at now so a break above sort of um, 26391 uh, and a retest so in other words let's just find an example here um, pretty much this kind of scenario here so we so you can see how we Range, range, range. Then we broke through the level. I'm looking for the retest. There's the one bar retest. So where's my entry? My entry is on the break of those pin bars to the upside with my stop here. And that's exactly what happened. You put a limit order in up there, you would have been triggered. So exact same scenario is going to happen now. You want to see a breakout and then I want to see a retest. And then you're above the breakout waiting for the retest to happen and long it is. Okay. Um, that's pretty much my view on this at the moment, uh, there is no other scenario right now. It is long. You're looking for longs and you're looking for the previous high. And then, believe it or not, I do believe you're probably going to be looking at the all time high um, eventually as well. Let's just get to the weekly for that one. OK, and you can see how these levels are tying up on the weekly as well. So there is the the ultimate goal as far as I'm concerned that's 28940 that's where we're heading for okay um, this break and retest of the uh, 33 EMA here as well is also quite crucial so we're still early in the week but if we close above it that just confirmed a longer term uh, uptrend for me as well okay 
So anyway, guys, that's it for me today. If you're still listening, please give us a thumbs up, uh, leave us a comment. Really appreciate the support. Um, I am trying to grow the channel. It's uh, been a pretty interesting journey on this. Uh, it keeps me, keeps me, uh, keeps my trainings, my trading sane actually. So um, helps me a stack. Uh, hopefully it helps you. Anyway, all I have today. I hope it helps, and we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.